on the channel, we got a double dose of first time in the liners with Ludwig Kaiser and Tiffany Stratton. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another WWE Mattel Basics unboxing and review and today on the channel we got two first time in the liners in Ludwig Kaiser and Tiffany Stratton but for all your Tiffany and Ludwig needs make sure you end up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. We're going to start ladies first. That's the way you do these things, boys. Ladies first with Tiffany Stratton, of course. Hot off NXT, now on the WWE SmackDown roster. We saw it at Elimination Chamber this weekend as I am filming this. Turning a lot of heads in more ways than one. And I do believe her and Ludwig, aren't they a couple? I believe that is the case here. So uh, a deeper connection between these two instead of just being first time in the liners we got a couple here in both former NXT personalities as well. So a lot of similarities between these two. Blonde hair between them two. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. But let's take a look at the packaging on this one here. Of course, this is new, the new Basics. We're at Series 145 right here. We did just recently over this weekend. A lot of news this weekend. Basics will be called main events going forward. So we'll have to change our dialogue when it comes to basic figures going forward. But Series 145, Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany looking only like a Tiffany could look. Action figure looks so-so on first impression. Tiffany Stratton. On the back, we got the cross sell. We got Ludwig right there. We got Sami Zayn. We got Gunter. And we got Kane. We're going to unbox some of these on the channel. It's kind of going to be a basics week this week. So check out some of these basic unboxings here on this YouTube channel. Make sure you do subscribe. Got a little bit of tail of the tape up here. Let's see what it says about our old friend, Tiffany Stratton. First time in the line. It says it right here. Signature move, prettiest moonsault ever. How about that? And she is classified as a powerhouse. Oh, my gosh. Does anyone remember when she first came to NXT and she had that theme song, like, Daddy's Little Rich Girl? Man, it was god-awful. I'm glad they switched that one. Uh, but she's quite uh, the performer. Really came along over the last year or so. Got a few enhancements as of recently as well uh, to fill herself out a little bit more. Who knows what she's up to there. But we'll see what happens to her on SmackDown roster going forward. But without further ado, let's get her out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And let me tell you, there's always fuss when a new female comes in. We know that. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. Truly, it is Tiffy time right now at the table. See you later. Coming back. See you later. Try that again. There it goes. And Tiffany Stratton out of the package and into our hearts. Out of the package and straight into our hearts. That's what she's doing right here. But let's start with the head here. A little rough. I think uh, the upcoming Elite, and you know there's going to be an Elite of her sometime, maybe by the end of the year, we'll see what happens. Got to be a little bit better in the face department here. A little bit rough, no doubt about it, in the face, I do feel. Blonde hair looks good. It does feel and look kind of like her blonde hair. I don't have any issues with that. Uh, getting down to the wardrobe here, like it, usual with these basic figures, just painted over the body. Uh, so we do have that going on. But it is an interesting color scheme with the pink and gray attack. You don't see the pinks and grays together very often, so I'm here for that. Big old gray boots, the white laces, the knee pads. You got TS on the side. I don't know what TS stands for. Who knows? Maybe Tiffany Stratton? It eh, could be. You never know, though. Uh, but I'd assume that's what it is. She does got a fist of fury, and she does got a gripping hand. Pretty good right there. I'm here for both of those. Articulation on her, arms go all the way around, bend at the elbow, side to side at the elbow, lay or hands back and forth, up and down, waist articulation, of course, head back and forth. How easy the head remove? Removes very easily on these. Of course, you can intermatch all these heads and stuff. I really do like that. I think that is a new uh, thing that really helps out customizers, people moving things around. It's a great one. Uh, legs do go up and out and all around. That's the new basic articulation. Really is a game changer. Would love to see him take a little bit more articulation, but maybe one day. But that is a good start, I do feel. So you get the up and down, all that leg movement. Knees, very, very tough. Single jointed knees. Boot cut, no ankle articulation on her either. 
But it truly is Tiffy time here with the former WWE NXT champion. Uh, she also had that, wasn't a feud with Becky Lynch for a while on NXT. I think she might even took the title from her, if I'm not mistaken. So she's been around. She's a girl that's been around, and now she's in SmackDown, and we'll see what her plans are in 2024. And, of course, fits on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Just fine, just fine. But now we turn our attention over to Ludwig Kaiser, and I'm not going to do the... Uh, a pronunciation, of course, but Ludwig looking only like a Ludwig could look. He's just got a very punchable face. You know, there's some people you just see him, and I'm sure to somebody out there watching it, there's a, I have a punchable face. They're probably just like, man, I'd like to just punch that cow in the face. Hey, bring it. Bring it. Give it a try. See what happens. I'll catch it. Who knows what might happen, but he does have a punchable face, which is good if you're a bad guy. That's what you want, so he's doing his job, that's for sure. WWE logo at the top. Ludwig Kaiser right there. Ludwig looking only like a Ludwig could look if he was a member of Imperium. I hope he's got that going on. Of course, Giovanni Vinci in the next set after this. This is 145. I think he's in 146. Kind of shocked we didn't get a championship showdown of those two together to debut, but at least we're getting them both in basics. We'll assume we will get their elites later on this year. I think Ludwig's already been announced or rumored, whatever you want to call it. Same cross sell we saw earlier, a little tail of the table. Let's see what it says about our old friend Ludwig. Uh, first time in the line, once again, his signature move, the Imperium Bomb, or Imperial Bomb, there you go. And he is a technician, a mat technician. I believe his dad was a wrestler, too, if I'm not mistaken on that. Uh, we're going to pull it out here. We're going to see what all the fuss is about with old Ludwig. See you later. One guy that wants to see some of this fuss is the old ring general himself. A big favorite of mine. I did prefer him more as Walter, that is for sure. Uh, back in the day on the indies and stuff, got to see him live and in person. It was quite the scene. Still really, really good. Not in agreement with his uh, talking about uh, the Ultimate Warrior. Man, he could be more wrong than that. There's no doubt about it. But there he is, Imperium, starting to build. We're starting to build that Imperium right now with old Ludwig Kaiser. See you later, goodbye. And we got Ludwig out of the package. And I will say, looks like Ludwig Kaiser in the face. And I believe he is the chase in this set as well. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. But this is the blue Ludwig Kaiser right here. It says Imperium right on the trunks there. And it says Ludwig Kaiser on the back. Just in case he loses them at the laundromat, he knows exactly who these are. Got a fist of fury. Got a gripping hand. And like I said, face sculpt looks just like him. He's got that kind of very punchable face. So they did a good job of Mattel with him as well. And I'm sure this head, removable as you can imagine. Very good customizer's uh, dream right here. Pretty basic, plain body you can use for other guys if you needed to. Uh, it looks really good. Of course, articulation can be similar to this one here. Arms all the way around, side to side, single jointed elbows, hands back and forth, side to side. Hands removable now. That is another game changer I forgot to talk about. So if you have some elites or other figures you want to mix some hands up, you can easily do that. Got the black wrist tape as well, Fist of Fury, waist articulation, big old Kaiser splits if you want to on a Kaiser roll. Leg goes up. Single jointed uh, knees. Oh my gosh, extremely, extremely tight, but they will move. Boot cut. No ankle articulation on this one either. And really what I need to get, I need to go to the Threadheads of the World or something like that. I need to get a t-shirt for him, an Imperium t-shirt, because I always want to try to make my basics elite or my main events soon elites. You put a soft good shirt on this, you wouldn't know if it's an elite or not. It's a way to dress these up. Might have to look into Threadheads, maybe get one for Giovanni da Vinci as well. Maybe even Gunter, who knows? We'll see what... Uh, we do with that one there. But looking really good here. Assume he will fit on a ringside stand as well. What do you know? Of course he fits on a stand. And he can buy right by his best girl, Tiffany, here. Oh, it's Tiffy time. It's Ludwig time. It's basic time. And that's what we got right here with Imperium being built out. And can't wait to get, of course, Giovanni Vinci very, very soon. Stay tuned for that review. And we'll finally have Imperium for the first time in our collection. So there it is. Basic 145. Any thoughts from you guys out here on these two figures? Pickups, passes, long games? Gonna wait for the elites? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon, including early access to videos like this, early access to both YouTube channel videos, monthly Q&A, pizza reviews, dog stuff, you name it. It's going on over at the old Patreon. Patreon, best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at PressNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Tiffany Stratton, Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.